peanut butter or chocolate? Right here. Right? Okay. Go ahead. Shane, it's Is it chocolate or peanut butter? Uh, I don't know. You can't have chocolate. Um, Here. Scrape it. Scrape it. Scrape it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> there you go. I mean, Argo. Argo. No, I like the icing. <laughs> Take a bite of yourself, Dave. Yeah, it's all Yeah, get down there and get the food Yeah, I know, huh? This is your party, man, too. I'm gonna let him. I'm about to take it away from you. Hey, y'all share a piece. Oh, there it is. Look. Merch, tell me, tell me a little bit about the retired Argo today. Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about the history with him and what it's come down to today. Argo's, um, um, Approximately nine years old now. He's been with the county for approximately four years. He is a dual purpose narcotics patrol dog. Um, again, he's been with the county since 2010. Um, he's from imported from Czech Republic. He then goes to Denver, Indiana. That's where I met him at. We went to a six weeks academy up in Denver, Indiana. Um, from that point, we, we hit the streets of Montgomery County once we graduated and uh, he's responsible for numerous narcotics arrests, um, apprehensions, and uh, uh, lost persons and lost articles. And what was the decision to retire him? What was based uh, um, on? Unfortunately, Argo's age and his, uh, he, he had come down with some type of medical illness that we had to um, unfortunately retire him, um, but he was getting out of age and it's just a genetic um, issue that, uh, that German Shepherd breeds have. A lot of this jumping up and down. A lot, a lot of it, yeah, just this physical uh, uh, agility stuff that he has to go through, and um, and uh, just it just doesn't his body just can't take what we do for us uh, that requires a police dog to do anymore. Well, we're not down a dog. We've got another dog ready. Yes, I got a new dog. His uh, his name is Hummer. He's currently in training right now. All right. <laughs>